Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here with a lovely little unboxing from Critical Role. It's for the Legend of Vox Machina Kickstarter they had two years ago. They're now sending stuff out. Again, I know, COVID delay stuff. But uh, speaking of critters, I got the little one over here that keeps trying to get up on top of the thing. All right, so address is hidden. Now, trying not to sneeze. So we got some cool things that we got inside this. This is basically going to be split between me and Maddie, but this is the one I want. It is the trinket plush. Do you have a sealable spot on you, or can I just rip the plastic? Rip the plastic. Let's see. L-O-V-M trinket. Hmm, interesting. Legend of Vox Machina. There, I'm like, wait a second, I should know that. I should know this. Funny story, I've done a strip tease. As, oh, it's got the little bows, too. Aww. I've done a strip tease as trinket in front of the original, well, in front of Critical Role, not knowing it. But uh, that's a fun story. That video's up on the channel. So there's trinket. All right, so there's that. Hopefully no cats underneath me. And then, the dice bag comes with it. I think this might be similar to the one that I got. I think this is kind of their Vox Machina one that they have. I think I might already have this. No, it's got a different set of dice in it. It's like a purple galaxy style. A very glitter. Glitter filled and sparkly and everything. All right. So then, is this a pack of playing cards? We did the we did this so long ago. We can't remember because it's like you know, like oh, we got a thing from Critical Role today, and I'm like, where did we order from them? It's Kickstarter stuff. I feel like I'm opening up like a pack of like D and D cigarettes or something. <laughs> I think these are playing cards. Yep, it is. It's a deck of playing cards up. And on cue, the cat's all like, what's up, game? Becca can keep the cat occupied. Such a little cutie. Alright, let's see where some of the cards. Not much. There's a couple characters in it, but it's mostly the face cards. So, just prime example for the camera if you're seeing. So, it's basically the face cards. Then, what else do we have? Get this back out. So there's a dice, there's that. There's a hat that's huge. Wow. That's what she said. I have to. Okay, this one actually does have a feel part. That's pretty nice. Would it fit you? Probably. Legend of the Vox Machina. Properly disposed of the trash. And what's the last thing in here? I mean, there's a few more things then. Is this the, uh, is this a dice box? These are blades. What? Are these, um, oh crap, uh, for the love of me, it's, it's Vex and, v it's Voxalia. Um, the brother. For the love of me. Vax? Vax. I think these are his daggers. Or they're like letter openers or something? I think they are. 
and I'm trying to very carefully get them out. I need something to budget out. So keys, do your job. They're wedged in there pretty good. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna pull these all out so you can see them. And there's a bit of an edge to them too. That's why I'm being very careful with this. Yeah. Huh. I think there are these are the daggers that he throws. I don't know. Uh, we can if if they're if they're not. Please correct me in the comments. But that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, but it comes in a nice little box like this. Because I thought it was a dice box. And then there is the sticker set for the Vox Machina. And then is this a DM screen? It might be a DM screen. Well, for like what Matt uses during his... Yeah, a DM screen is just what you put in front of you so people can't see your stats and whatnot. Oh, it's... Wait a second. I think it's an animation... Well, it's not an animation frame because it's all being done digitally. But it's your piece of art from the thing. Huh. Episode 101... I mean, it's printed off on nice paper, actually. It, so what, it's not a cell or something, or? Well, you, the, the, since it's all done digitally, it's not a cell. But I remember, I remember there was some reason why they sent us that because it was there. It was our, so we kind of felt like you had a cell. So again, remember we did this in 2019, and it's almost 2022. So that's actually a pretty nice haul. How much was it again? What, 80? No, I think it was... It was 100? 160 to 200 at most. That's the most I can recall. I can't... That's a lot. Well, again, yeah, you did put money towards uh, uh, the funding of animation. So there's also the benefit of knowing that we helped fund animation. I mean, considering it's probably the best Kickstarter ever. Um, yeah. It did pretty good for the time limit. That's cool. I mean, this is metal. This isn't cheap. This is... I think it raised almost close to $13 million. Yeah, it did pretty good. They blew past their goal of, what, was it, $1 million? They were looking for $1 million, but then based on the incredible success of it, they are like, all right, we're going to be doing a lot more with the animation. Well, yeah, I love the fact one of the goals they had was they got Travis to do a haunted house. But yeah, no, I mean, this is a pretty sweet little deal. Uh, sad to say, though, that uh, if anyone's going to try and get these, unless people are reselling them, good luck, because these were rewards only for this. So, have fun trying to find these on the resale market. So, guys, that's all we got for right now. Thanks for tuning on in. And uh, all you critters out there, have fun, stay safe, and remember, like always, be like duct tape, stick to it. Bye-bye.